this is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to the Werewolf Amazon Challenge in The Sims 4. In the last chapter, Prince Alfred aged up into a teenager and had an archery contest with Master Herman, which he won, retaining his status in the pack. Later, Lady Ada went into labor and gave birth to a baby boy named Master Eugene, securing the Blade's bloodline. On Monday morning, Queen Julia aged into an adult, marking a new era in her reign as Alpha of the pack. Master Eugene also joined the festivities with his birthday into toddlerhood. It is Monday night and we have our two match suitors prepped in the arena for our seventh match. And this is going to be for breeding rights of the alpha. It is going to be her what? Let's quickly go ahead and check. Okay, this is going to be the fifth child. No, no, no. The fourth child that she has. So... I'm excited, especially because it may very well be the last one. I think in the previous video or the previous chapter, I came to a decision that I wanted to stick with six boys, um, or you know, like six children that are going to move on to the next generation so that it doesn't feel too crazy to me. And we already have five. So we have two nobles and three royals. Uh, I know some of us also really want to see the genetics from Lady Lily. So for that to happen, the queen would have to have a daughter or, you know, a couple of daughters. That would also be nice. But if she ends up having a son, this is going to be the last baby. So I feel like it's more and more important to see the kind of uh, matches that are happening or the suitors that we are getting. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Somehow, I am managing to do this every single time during a full moon. Like, we've lucked out again tonight, so after the match, we might have to wait until the following morning before we can actually go ahead and, you know, uh, consummate this. But the two match suitors that we have over here, let's take a look at. Both of them uh, look really good, if I do say so myself. Okay, no, I want to uh, reset. I just want to reset so that they have their beautiful straight faces on. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. So we already know... We already know about this sort of troublemaker. This is Lord Earl Eternal. He is Lady Lily's brother, who has been keeping secrets from her, like chucking, you know, the first prince to another dimension and pulling that first prince back here. But he's got brown hair, light brown eyes, and cool toned skin. So really fun genetics going on over here. And then we have new blood that has been brought in by Lily, someone that she has chosen. Uh, this, this guy over here, who is also very good looking, I have to say. I feel like he and Jim are kind of in the same, personally for me, they're in kind of, you know, the same tier of, of good looks. But this, guys, if I can remember his flippin' name, which I should because I literally just made him, I think this is Lord uh, Ralph Land. Yes, Lord Ralph Land. And he has lighter, cool toned skin, dark gray hair, even though it might look black, it's actually dark gray. And he has pink eyes. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, especially because it's night in the lighting, but he has the exact same eye color as Prince Will. So Will has pink eyes, or you know, pinkish eyes, which I think when it's daytime, you can see it a lot better. And you can see it now, but look at him. Isn't he a good looking guy? He is. And his hair, I feel like, looks kind of black, but I swear to you, it is dark gray, guys. Dark gray, not black. If we had Will next to him, then you'd be able to tell. But yeah, so these are the match suitors that we have, our, our, our competitors. And I know a bunch of you guys really like, really like Earl. And to be honest, I feel like his, the way his personality and the, the story of his family has been panning out is quite fun as well. But we are going to trigger their transitions and we're going to get them to fight and see what happens between them. Also guys, Queen Julia has gone ahead and gotten her makeover. You know what, now that her hair is kind of out of her face more, I am starting to see where Prince Alfred gets his face shape. I couldn't tell before because I think the... She had like, ch like pieces of hair. I was gonna say chunks, but you know, I, I suppose like chunky pieces of hair uh, down the front. She had a bit of a fringe going on, and um, I think that made her face seem a little bit longer, and it was hiding the shape a bit. But now that it's kind of been moved, I can definitely see where he's getting his face shape from. But our our lovely, lovely 
alpha. Um, her makeup definitely went for something a little bit darker, you know, slightly more mature because she is an adult now. And I actually really, really, really like this hair on her. She's still got those pieces at the front, but it's kind of like in braids, which is pretty. Two little braids down the front and then the rest is up in a bun. But I feel like it still kind of holds on to some of that childlike quality that uh, is in her personality. So I really, really like that. And you'll see the slight changes in the color scheme of her outfits as well. Now the, the dress she's wearing now, the outerwear, it looks like it's the same one or the same color as um, Lily's. Not quite, it is a little bit more purple than Lily's. I think Lily's is periwinkle. To be honest, it's kind of hard to tell. But you know, we have those slight adjustments. So okay guys. Let's go ahead, trigger the transitions, and get these guys to fight. Obviously, Lord Earl is going to be our first match suitor. So let me go ahead and do that for him. Maximum Fury. Here we go. I have to say, though, guys, I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way, but I think Lord Earl's um, werewolf form, it looks very ape-like. I mean, tell me you don't see it. Is it just me? It looks very ape-like, doesn't it? He does. I think it's, I don't know, the coloring and maybe like the actual um, dimensions of everything. But he, he looks ape-like, not gonna lie. I feel like out of all the werewolves, his werewolf form looks the least werewolf-ish. Especially compared to um, this guy. Especially compared to Lord Ralph. I mean, just look at, just look at these two. We've got this. And we've got this. Does he not look like an ape? I have to say, he does. He does. Ah, Alfred, isn't this exciting? Isn't this exciting? Watching two werewolves fight over your mother. Ah, the days, the days. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna get Lord Earl to get this brawl going. Let's see, guys. Yes, can we get it done? Can we get it done? You know, I didn't even realize that was a mean interaction, but it totally makes sense to me. Look at how efficient these guys are. I love it. They are not, you know, causing any problems. They're not going ahead and telling me that, oh, we, we can't reach each other. No, they know exactly what's at stake and they are just going for it. And I think it's so cool that there's snow falling. Ah, it's actually quite wonderful. Who's gonna win? I actually cannot tell. I cannot tell. They kind of look equally matched, no? Oh! Oh! Oh, some of you guys are gonna be really happy with this because I know you have been saying in the comments that you really want Lord Earl to father a child. And well, guys, look at this. I think you might luck out. I think you might luck out. So excellent. I mean, even if this child ends up being like with the queen, uh, or with the alpha, if this ends up being the last boy we have, I mean, at least it's gonna be Lord Earl's son, right? Right? Now, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, with Ralph, he actually got this um, red icon, which we haven't seen. So I thought we'd go ahead and read that as well. So he has Restless Animal. Restless animals feel too constrained while indoors and gain extra fury without anything fun to do. So he, he very much likes being out. Now these guys, they might transform some point soon. But I, mm, yeah, I don't think they, I mean, it, it's going to take them two hours to change back. But I feel like before that point, everyone else is going to turn as well. I'm not entirely sure if it's, um, like if it triggers during the midnight or at what point. But we might be back in the daytime when they're kind of gone through the transformations and they're okay to finally finally oh but i feel like maybe you guys might want to see alfred's wolf form because i don't think you guys have you haven't seen alfred's wolf form well we might jump back in later when they start transforming because I, I don't think we can push him i could it's the full moon i i could but i don't like doing it unless it's within like the actual match itself so anyways we'll, we'll check back in later Hopefully at some point, he might even gain some control over himself. <gasps> Ooh, they're becoming red. Actually, he might transform now. Look, his fury is going up and up and up. Yeah, he's gonna transform. So there's really no point in me jumping away right now. 
because he's he's gonna he's gonna turn he's gonna turn very soon this is so exciting this is his first transformation with the pack oh my goodness i think here he goes here he goes guys <gasps> the beast beckons his mother is changing okay the queen changed yep he goes alfred <gasps> this is his first time transforming okay let's take a look what does the werewolf form of our prince look like? Okay guys, so this is our second prince as a werewolf. He is a gray werewolf. He is a gray. And it's kind of cool, down in the panel you can see all the werewolves kind of lined up with each other. But his 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 a bit different from- oh, 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 yep, he's running away to destroy something. It's definitely a little bit different to uh, maybe some of the- like to Lord Earl for example. Where is he in the panel? Okay, we can open up the profile and check out Earl. So this is Earl in his werewolf form. It's definitely got, his face is gray, but he's got more like brown tones everywhere else. And then by comparison, we have Alfred over here. He's kind of more, he's still got a little bit of brown, I suppose, but he's more kind of like gravel, gravelly, gravel colored, I feel. But yeah, this is this is our second prince, guys. Our second prince. Who, you know what? I think beyond the the craze and the unexpectedness of transforming. Oh well I suppose he would have been expecting this. The you know, kind of taught um the taught the whole process before the transformation comes. I don't think anyone would be that irresponsible to leave them in the dark, but I think there's going to be adrenaline and excitement because this is something he's seen since he was a child and something he's looked up to and wanted for himself. I feel as though Prince Elma would be a lot more freaked out when it's his turn to transform and he would be a lot more disturbed about the whole process and that he had no control over his body when it turned. Whereas Alfred really doesn't mind, you know, submitting to that power and submitting to the call of the moon. Anyways, I will let these guys kind of go about their business and uh, I will check back in when everyone's ready to get the seventh breeding done. It is Tuesday morning and Lord Earl is all scratched up from his match with Lord Ralph. And yes, I did get his name right. Oh. Of course it's dark. Look at his face, it's all scratched up, but you know. He's, he's quite a fine looking, fine looking wolf, so I think they would have a very interesting child together. Now, Alpha has to go ahead, maybe send a note to the butler to go and deal with the, the bills, because, uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to see right now. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm surprised they don't have any sort of flirtatious relationship at this point. But yes, they, they don't seem to. I really kind of now want the Alpha to have a girl because I would really, really like to use Lord Ralph somewhere. Like, I, I want his genetics to pass on. Actually, imagine his genes with Lily. That might look really pretty. Anyways, look at how, look at how Alpha, look at how pretty she looks. Look at how pretty she looks. You can definitely see the resemblance with Alfred now that her hair is out of her face, I think. Definitely. But okay, you guys, she's now, okay, we've got some, we've got some people leveling up with their werewolf ranks or ranking up. Okay, you need to get working on him. She is flirtatious, thank goodness. That is one good thing. She's like always in a flirty mood. So let's get moving with you two. Come on, throw a compliment appearance, and he's in a good mood too, so this should be easy as pie. Okay, risk a question, and we'll go ahead and do a pickup line. I mean, the alpha is full of confidence, so why not? Uh, offer a rose and flirt with him. I don't think he's on flirty, is he? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's just throw a bit of a flirt. But also, I'm noticing it is taking quite a few interactions, okay, finally, to get any sort of pink on their relationship. 
Oh, okay, so he's doing some as well. Let's confess attraction. And oh, oh, I saw the option for first kiss. We're gonna go for it. We're going to go for it. Okay, you two. Here we go. Oh, nice. And guys, I don't know how long we've had Lily right now because, you know, quite a few days off camera in the last chapter and all, but I'm surprised that she has not found her faded mate so far. Like, how is that even possible? Everyone else found their, like, mates really, really quickly. So I'm kind of surprised. Okay, let's go ahead and do a pose. Let's do a pose, and then we're gonna hold hands. Come on. Come on, Queen Julia. Stop reading from your notebook. I don't know what you're reading out from your notebook, but put a cap on it. Also, we might as well like rank... Oh, I mean, she hasn't ranked up, unfortunately. Ada has, though. At least she's accumulating points. That's good. But Ada... Actually, did Ada just catch up to her? Yeah, I think Ada just caught up to her. Oh, I don't know why I thought she was a rank ahead. We'll give her night vision. And guys, I also went ahead and actually saw... Um, I saw the little option for them to hunt. Not when they were raging, of course, but I think if we click on her now... Yeah, look! She can go hunt for food. So actually, I might send them to go hunt for food in a bit. Maybe I should send send her. Maybe I'll, I'll send the, the alpha to go hunt for food, just because I'm curious about that interaction and I want to see what's going on. Okay, are you guys ready yet? No, apparently not. Apparently not. It's fine, it's fine. We'll work, we'll work on it a little bit more. Look at him, he's just covered in dirt. He's just covered in dirt. Oh, she's so sweet. She's so sweet. You know what, guys? We were saying this in the comments, but I was worried initially about having my werewolves be, you know, mortal, and then the stress of having to get all the airs out and, you know, make progress and do everything, fill out the household before the next generation. I was a little bit worried because with the vampires, they're immortals, we have like forever to get things done, even the breedings, we have forever to get things done, um, but not with the werewolves. However, I am enjoying the way time is flowing with everyone here. I'm actually having quite a lot of fun with it. Oh, oh no, look at the sleepwear, not compatible. I just love seeing their compatibility based on their sleepwear. We know this, I say it in every chapter, but looks as though these two are not exactly compatible. Hmm. Not very compatible. That's fine. <laughs> that is fine. So okay, they're going ahead and doing their business. Also, someone did um, give me some advice regarding the um, like bottles we had over here with the lighting backdrop and you said I could just add mirrors so that you couldn't see the light and just, you know, have the bottles as if they're potion bottles or something. Uh, which I tried to do, but the problem with that is the, the mirror length. Like when you put a mirror on the wall, even the one panel ones, they only attach at a specific height and they're not tall enough for these walls, which is quite lengthy. Um, and I tried a, a few other things, like covering up with plants and stuff, the wall plants, which look nice when the wall's up, but then obviously the game makes it invisible when you put the walls down. So in the end, I just, I just decided to take it all out and um, put this here instead, which kind of fits the, I suppose, tone of the, the room a little bit more. And I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with uh, how it looks right now. So I'm, I'm not too upset that we got rid of the bottles. I think it's fine. Okay, Alpha, let's go ahead and check to see if you conceived, which you should have. We'll just send you in. Come on, let me go. We can do it. Okay, we're just gonna send you in there. Take a test. Put down the, the due date. And then we should be all good to go send someone out on a hunt. Okay. Give us the good news. And there we go, she's expectant. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, Queen Julia, she has started to put on a little bit of weight. A little bit of weight, like 
not now, not now, but just normally. Um, yeah, she's a little bit thicker than she was in the very beginning. And I thought that was that was pretty cool because, you know, she's had so many kids at this point. So obviously, um, I just thought that was kind of fascinating. Um, I don't know if Ada has, obviously not Lily, but definitely the queen. And I'm wondering if that's, you know, a little bit of weight she's put on, like baby weight after every child and she just kept it on. Um, which is really cool, especially when I compare it to like the very, very first video of her. Or even if you look at the last chapter and you see like the way she looks in the, the intro, you might notice it in the actual game that she's a little bit thicker, but yeah, that was kind of cool. Okay, anyways, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put down her due date. So one, two, three on a Friday at 11 a.m. So I'll add the, the event here, house party, we are going to host, yes, guests, we're going to invite, obviously Earl, he's the father, also some of the kids have aged up, so we're going to have some more exciting things in this chapter going as well for us, we'll invite over Lord Roy, Lord Michael, Prince Will, Jim, Jesse. Oh my goodness, Lillian has aged up? What? Guys, Lillian aged up. I know Harvey did. I gave him a makeover before we jumped into the like the video. But Lillian aged up. I need to go and give her a makeover. Oh wow. I mean she's not gonna join us at the castle. Harvey is. So we are gonna have another contest, archery contest amongst the princes. Uh, but Harvey's gonna be challenging Herman because Herman has the lowest rank. Uh, Lillian is not going to move in with us. She's going to stay with the, the royal guards there. But she's going to be the first proper royal guard. Because the males there, the match suitors, they're actually mercenary members of the royal guard. She's the first one born into it. So that's going to be very, very exciting for us. Um, let's see. What else? Ralph. I want to invite him. I think those are all the males. We'll try and get Eugene and Lillian so they can come as well. So we have nine right now. Um, I suppose I could fit in, actually I might as well fit in the kids because I don't know if they'll be able to attend. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Actually now we don't have a host. Let's get these guys to host. Okay nice. So 12 members, that is fine. 11 a.m. Yep. All good. All good. So we have that date set aside. And oh, that's nice. It's kind of, so this baby is going to be born like at the end of winter. My, my. Winter went by so quick. Winter went by so quick. Okay, so that is uh, nice and done. Oh, 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 I forgot to, I just realized. I, for, I forget to do this all the time. I'm so sorry, honey. <laughs> He's like trapped in here. <gasps> Whoopsies. Let's teleport him out. I'm sorry. I totally did not mean that. But also, I forgot to give him the polyamorous trait. I keep forgetting, and then I remember like in the middle of playing that I have to give them that trait. Um, are you gonna- are you gonna move? Are you going to move? Hold on, let me try and reset him. Nope. Come on, teleport. Teleport. Sometimes it takes them time to get the ish together. Nope. He's being really fussy. Come on, why are you so fussy for? Why are you so fussy for? You know what, I'll come back and deal with him in a second. I just felt bad that he was like out in the snow waiting this whole time while the queen was cozying it up. Oh, he did move, oh thank goodness. Okay, okay, uh, yes, the trait, before I forget, the polyamorous trait. Still assign him that attribute, polyamorous, yes. And you know guys, the reason I'm giving this is because all the werewolves who get involved with the royal pack, they know the way the royal pack functions um, with polygamy. They, they already know how it functions. Somehow Lily has managed to stay out of it still, which is really cool. But okay, Julia, I need to get you guys out of this room. So I'll unlock this and then I want to send you out on a hunt because we want to take a look at how, how that looks. So let's go hunt for food. I'm assuming that she goes off into the wilds and she, you know, hunts something. I have seen one of the werewolves 
like eating a plate of steak and I don't actually know if they brought that from a hunt or like where they got that from or if they can pull it out of the fridge. Not entirely sure, but I'm assuming she's gonna go off um, off the lot somewhere, like into a rabbit hole and she's gonna get her food. It is quite the weather to go out hunting though, I will say, but you know, she's getting hungry and such. So I feel like timing kind of works out quite well. Timing works out quite well. What's happening here? She's very angry from the werewolf temperament. Fair, fair. Fair, fair. Okay, don't run inside. I want you to go through with this hunt. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, it is very cold. She's, she's pregnant as well. Okay, Queenie. Are we disappearing? Yes, we are. I totally knew it was gonna happen. Okay, she's disappearing. She's hunting. I think that's kind of sucky, not gonna lie. Does her does her um, hunger go up or does she come back with steak? I feel like that's a little bit sucky that You know, they go off into the abyss and you don't see them actually hunting. I mean, yes, it would have been a little bit graphic but Don't you think they could have done some you know how like in in um, cottage living They have the little bunnies and the foxes and I know it's kind of sad But they could have for example had deer or something like that like in The Sims 3, they had deer. They could have deer, and then, you know, your werewolf could have like a simple animation, like maybe just swiping the deer. Um, and then they'd have a steak, something like that. It wouldn't even have to be that graphic, but it kind of makes sense, right? I mean, I don't think people are going to get offended by werewolves eating meat. I mean, so many people eat meat. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, she's going to go do her own thing. Uh, I definitely need to move these guys out in a second, and I will definitely do that. Um, Lily, what are you up to, honey? What are you up to? Have you actually had any romances with anyone? Just out of curiosity. No one! Look at that, guys. No one! Somehow she's managed to evade everything. Like, everything. And oh my goodness, I... You know, the more and more I look at him, it's very good looking. Ralph is very good looking. What what's the uh, what are the traits that Bill has? Bookworm, squeamish, cat lover. I love that he's squeamish. Like really, his squeamish, his squeamish after the trouble he got into, and the fact that he is an adventurer. That's interesting. But you know what? This is intriguing to me. Maybe with Earl, he goes on these adventures because he wants to record like all the histories and he wants to explore the histories maybe even that he reads about but when he actually gets into trouble and he gets into ish he doesn't like he freaks out and he doesn't like it but you know his his love for knowledge is stronger than his dislike for the gross things because i imagine he comes across a lot of ancient sites or old places that have you know spider webs and all sorts of like gooey stuff and just dried bones and bone dust like who knows the stuff like slime stuff he comes across it would be a lot of things that probably would gross him out insects even but that's fascinating that's very fascinating but I kind of like those trait combinations when you have unexpected things like that. Okay. Oh, Julia's back. And look, now she has this raw meat. Is she gonna... Are you gonna pull it out for us? Are you going to show... Okay, this, this it sounds very weird. I'm sorry. But, you know. Where's the steak? Where is the steak? Okay, see, look, there we go. She's got steak, guys. She's got steak. So this is where the werewolves get their steak from. They literally just go off, they hunt, and they come back and they have steak they eat. So they don't get it from the fridge, they actually have to go. Interesting. I know, I think in The Sims 3, you could actually just grab, I think, raw meat or steak from the, the fridge, if I'm not mistaken. But okay. Intriguing. Intriguing. Anyways, guys, I am going to go ahead, give Lillian a makeover, move the kids back in. We need to have that archery contest. Um, and depending on how much time we have, we might even go, you know, to a different lot and get everyone to hang out together. But I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. We are diving in on Tuesday afternoon with our youngest Prince Harvey over here who has moved in to the castle. So let me go ahead and reset him so we can take a closer look at his 
face. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd you go? Okay, okay, he disappeared for a second. But this, guys, is our youngest prince, um, Harvey, over here. He has golden hair, light blue eyes, and this lovely dusky skin, or, you know, mid-tone skin. His father is that mousy man that none of us like, Lord Michael Blade, who I am very surprised even managed to win, like, a match, given his very cowardly personality. But, lo and behold, he lucked out with this kid. Now, I do, despite his parentage, adore Harvey quite a bit. I just think he has the like cutest combination of genes. But you know, it's also different from the other princes, so I think that just makes me adore it even more. Uh, I think also, you know, just the like blonde hair and the blue eyes and the dusky skin, it, it looks really nice to me. Anyways, we are going to have an archery contest with him and Herman, because Herman is the lowest ranked. So we'll be able to find out if, you know, the ranking has shifted or anything like that. So I'm looking forward to it. I also gave a makeover to um, Lillian and we have invited her to the castle. So we'll take a look at her. I think she was just coming through the, the entryway outside or she's about to walk in through the door. Now, guys, something I didn't particularly notice with my youngsters and I'm starting to notice now. Actually, before I get into that, because that is kind of newsworthy, we were talking not too long ago about how the kids that have moved in, like all of the kids, they have really sweet and nice personalities. Nobody's mean, nobody's evil, which yes, that is great to see they're better than, you know, the older generation. And here comes in Lillian. But guys, Harvey is putting a spanner in the works just a little bit because he actually randomized the erratic trait. That's right, this kid right here has some crazy in him, which is quite unfortunate. Um, and this, you know, means he is going to be talking to himself quite a lot. His mood is going to swing. He's already, you know, a werewolf, but he's going to have mood swings. So he is not going to be the most consistent of princes. And already I'm getting the sense that he is not going to make the best alpha. If anything, uh, at present, I definitely feel like the first prince is probably going to be the the best alpha. Um, but even after the first prince, Alfred wouldn't be too bad. I feel like Alfred doesn't have the same level of maturity as his younger brother. But I think he'd be able to learn things quite well. And I mean, he is he is proper and he's proud of his, his heritage and his culture. So, you know, he, he would make a decent alpha as well. Even though I feel like Elmo would be the best. Harvey, the youngest though... Yeah, I, I don't think he's going to lead the family in a good place or lead the pack down a good line. So hopefully, you know, he lets to control it or he just doesn't doesn't succeed at the, the whole succession thing. Now, also, guys, Harvey has a bit of a secret. Harvey has a bit of a secret. And if you're wondering what that secret is, it may just be the fact that Harvey here is quite potentially a non-wolf. He is a non-wolf, guys. So, a dormant wolf, he's got that trait right over here, which means he does not transform like the others. And I don't know if that's part of, like that's, that's a reason why he may have developed into a bit of an erratic character. Um, but there's conflicting things because he also has the greater wolf blood. So let me go ahead and read these two because I don't know if we have on the other offspring. Dormant wolf from having werewolf lineage, the wolf sleeps soundly within Prince Harvey. What would it take to awaken? And then greater wolf blood from having werewolf parents and a bit of luck. The moon has blessed Prince Harvey with a greater wolf blood, enhancing their werewolf growth. Talk about high expectations. So that must really, really hurt knowing that or feeling this power in your blood but being unable to access that power because you just don't have the the ability to transform um, so that really sucks but nobody knows about it yet i think everyone it, it you know what i i like the the idea that maybe it's a little bit hard to tell in certain children whether that is manifesting or whether it's not um, and really, you can only confirm it when they become teenagers and they go through their first transformation, like Alfred did. So, based on the fact that 
his older brothers are werewolves. I think everyone kind of is expecting um, Harvey to be one as well because he's having the same mood swings, he's going through the same things that, you know, the other young werewolves did, the growth spurts and all these kind of stuff. So they're assuming that he has this as well. But actually, unfortunately, Harvey's a non-wolf. Nobody's gonna know though until he becomes a teenager and it's a full moon and he doesn't transform like the others. So maybe hearing this talk of, you know, is he or is he not, um, but everyone's preferring to think that, yeah, he is. Everyone's deciding that he is, even though it hasn't, there's no way to confirm it when they're young that might have really kind of put Harvey on edge growing up because he's part of this family but then it's not really working out or you know he's having doubts about whether he is like his brothers and then his father being this cowardly personality that nobody really likes like even his aunt doesn't like the brother uh, and the fact that the father is a bastard child of you know the blade family I think that would be a lot of pressure on a, a prince to maybe like even be blaming the father for not having the ability to transform. Anyways, there's a lot going on with Harvey that we may find out in time, or you know, the way he's going to develop, but I think that was really, really curious. Um, and then it got me, you know, wondering, what about the other children? So Master Herman over here, he obviously is at least yeah he i think he would be a werewolf quite obviously because he doesn't have that dormant wolf trait which means at least i hope so i think i think guys i think he is a, a wolf but then again there is no way to confirm until they become teenagers right so we're assuming he is one, but he, he may be a non-wolf, just like Harvey. Elma, on the other hand, he has greater wolf blood. And he doesn't have the dormant wolf trait. So I'm assuming that he is also a werewolf. Um, we might have actually, I'm pretty sure when you jump into cast, you can kind of check. They do have that little icon, but I don't remember if he is. I'm pretty sure he and Alfred are wolves because uh, I remember checking it in the beginning, but I think I may have forgotten about the later children. And it just got to my head when, like I wasn't even paying attention when I was giving him the makeover, and then when I saw his traits, I was like, wait, hold on a second. So anyways, Elma is definitely a wolf. He's been having his um, mood swings and such, and he has a greater wolf blood, and obviously no dormancy. So it, it seems like from the way his personality is developing, from the traits he has, it seems like he is the most alpha material, no? And then of course Alfred, he doesn't have the dormant wolf trait and he doesn't have the greater wolf blood. So you know that, that, that power has kind of skipped him. The potential has skipped him. Um, but obviously we know he transformed. We saw him transform. So, hmm, hmm. A lot of things to consider. Before we jump into the, whatchamacallit, the archery contest though, Let's take a look at Lillian. Where is she? Lillian, darling. Lillian, darling. Oh, we can't even flip in. She's in the most strangest position right now, and the lighting, I'm telling you, just ain't good over there. Okay, where are you, kiddo? Where'd you go? Are oh, you over here? Can you maybe get Lillian? Can actually... Can actually... Can everyone just come down? Can you call everyone down? And then we'll try and snag Lillian and see what she looks like. They don't have to come here. I just want her to be out of like that room. Because the room's not doing her favors. Come on, chop chop. Okay, the lighting here is too cray cray. We need it to be downstairs. We need it to be downstairs. So let's go on down. Let's go on down. Lillian. Okay, let's take a look at her. She is very, very pretty, guys. Not gonna lie. She's quite pretty. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's take a look at her. That face. She's got the most beautiful eye shape. The most beautiful eye shape. Very delicate features, I feel. Uh, and this hair looks so cute on her. So, so cute. The slightly blown out bob. Ah, I love it. But guys, she has... And this is Edith's daughter, in case we've forgotten. Edith and 
uh, Will? Is it Edith and Will? I think so. I think, yeah, Edith and Will. But she's just so lovely. So, so pretty. Look at her love. She's so delicate. She's so delicate. Despite her delicacy, guys. She, unfortunately, is a non-wolf. That's right. She's a non-wolf. And I remember because I'm pretty sure she didn't have the, the occult icon above her traits when I was making her over in Cass, and that really surprised me. Like, she doesn't even have a werewolf form for me to, you know, fix up like I did with Alfred. So yeah, she's a non-wolf. And you know what? I, I don't think it's a secret with her, though, because she aged up on the full moon, and on the full moon when Alfred turned, she didn't turn back with the, you know, royal, like the mercenary members of the royal guard. So at this point, everyone knows that she's a non-wolf, even though she's Prince Will's daughter. Ah, <sighs> I don't know how that's gonna affect the, the, like, everyone else's relationship with her. It seems as though everyone's being warm, though, and nobody's really taking it personally, the fact that she didn't transform. Um, but, you know, I wonder if she has any sort of insecurity about it. I'm also curious to see Harvey's relationship with his wolf brothers and his relationship with the non-wolf cousin going forward because that might give us an indication as to how he feels about his own state whether he'll ever be able to make peace with it or whether it's going to frustrate the heck out of him and he'll like he's going to want to distance himself from from Lillian because he won't like the fact that Lillian reminds him of his own non-wolfness okay well i feel as though i have rambled quite a bit but you know there were some interesting developments in that regard. Let's go ahead and get Harvey to challenge Herman. Not everyone, we just want to challenge Herman. So I don't know how the wolves get into this room because I'm fairly sure I have both these rooms locked up. You know what, maybe I shouldn't be that surprised. Maybe I shouldn't even bother. It's fine. Let them go where they want to go and explore the the parts of the grounds they want to. I'm not even gonna bother putting up that much of a fuss. It's not worth it. Okay, come on. Uh, it's gonna take them forever to run there because they're slipping on ice. <laughs> they're slipping on ice and everything. You know that whole erraticness? I could even see it as this, this uh, like deep inside even though he has validation from Will, maybe deep inside, he already knows. He already knows that he's a non-wolf. Um, but there's a, like a paranoia almost that people are going to find out. And having to keep keep that secret and act in a way and maybe or you know even him being sensitive about it because I imagine it would be a sensitive topic and maybe when people get too close to the fact that he's a non-wolf they say something that hits too close to home he his mood kind of snaps and that's maybe part of where his erratic nature comes from okay Herman Herman and Harvey you know I wrote this in a comment in a reply to a comment where I realized I have really confusing names for all my kids. We have Alfred, Lillian, Elma, Herman, Harvey. Or even just look at the, the boys, the boys alone. Alfred, Elma, Herman, Harvey, Eugene. It's it's kind of confusing to think about, no? <laughs> at least for me. Sometimes I have trouble remembering who's called what. Honestly. Honestly, they've got similar sounding, well, similar sounding names. <laughs> That's pretty much it got the same sort of sounds and even letters going on here and there and then Lillian we keep confusing with Lady Lily so I don't know why I even made that choice okay Herman he missed that first arrow I noticed that he missed that first arrow oh no oh no I think you know what I think Javi is frozen in fear just a little bit I think Javi is doubting himself and he's wondering whether he's even going to be able to like do this properly he did see Harvey you should stop doubting yourself because maybe despite the fact that you're a non-wolf you know you have it in you to do something I imagine it would elevate him quite a bit having that greater wolf blood even though he can't transform 
I mean, surely it makes him just, you know, a superior human altogether. So that's kind of curious. That is very curious. Okay, he missed that time around. That's okay. That's okay. I'm really rooting for him, though. I mean, I love Herman and everything, but I'm really rooting for, for Harvey. I feel really bad in regards to this whole secret and the situation he has going on. So I... I really hope he's, he's able to like prove himself in some way. It just feels like the most tragic combination to have that greater wolf blood, but then to be a, a non-wolf. Unfortunately. That's how we treat the dormancy. And what? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? What was that? Wait, no, what was that? Did you guys see the notice? What a game. Master Herman ended up beating Master Herman. Uh, two to two. That doesn't even... This is Prince Harvey. This is Prince Harvey. What does that mean? Was that a tie? Guys, I think they tied. That doesn't count. They tied. How are we supposed to tell? Okay, you're doing it again. You're doing it again. But they're, like, getting hungry. Oh no. Oh no. You know what? Okay, hold on. Hold on a second, guys. Let me just um, deal with everyone, and then we're doing it again. Or oh, I suppose I could cheat up their needs. You know what? Mm, no, but then everyone else is going to be hungry. Okay, let me deal with this, and then we'll be back, and we'll continue with this until we have a victor. It is the early hours of Wednesday morning. These guys are at it again. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out particularly because Harvey has already fired a few shots. Like, this is the one game. We haven't received any other notifications uh, aside from that previous um, win that Herman had against himself, which doesn't make too much sense. But we're going to go ahead and see who wins this time around. Because that, that, that wasn't even... We need a decisive victory. It said victory here, but it said Herman against Herman and two against two, so that doesn't make sense. Which is why we are doing it again. And I'm pretty sure that this thing works because we tried it with all our other um, like past contests and we got a clear answer. What is that? Is that a win? What's going on? What's going on? No? Okay, he's just really excited. Oh no, he's not doing too well. He's not doing too well, guys. Surely the last one would have given him a little bit of experience. Okay, Herman's not... Herman's not exactly performing either, so... Goes for both of them. Oh, come on, Harvey. Oh, no. Oh, no, Harvey. Elmer really was special. This makes me think, you know, if that greater wolf blood that Elmer has maybe played a part in him beating Alfred and his superior performance for that particular archery contest uh, makes me wonder it really really does and I suppose at this point Herman would have a little bit more experience than Harvey would so I wouldn't be too surprised if Harvey ended up losing okay the the alpha just walked past oh geez Oh, what was that? Did he win? That makes no sense. Prince Harvey ended up beating Prince Harvey. What does that mean? Okay, so I don't know if this is a problem with this, but if it's glitching out twice, if it is glitching out twice, guys, then I am just going to go with the first outcome that we had because it still doesn't make sense. Before it was Herman beats Herman, now it's Harvey beats Harvey. So the notifications obviously are not working. So I will go with the person who got the the moodlet first. And this time around Herman did get the moodlet first. He won the initial victory. He got the moodlet. So I'm gonna treat that as the game telling me, regardless of the points that Herman did win that first time around, which means Harvey is gonna be lower ranking than Herman in the castle, even though he is a prince, and that probably won't make him feel too good. So he is going to be our third prince. He would have been third prince regardless, but now his status is beneath this noble. And I wonder how that would feel for him. 
knowing that you know a noble child a noble son has more authority than you in the castle and you actually have to defer to them you have to show them respect instead of the other way around oh that would just be miserable so anyways we're not having any further archery contests because that is pretty much done and decided between the youngsters i'll just have to uh, update my my sheets and take note of that now I wonder if I should get them to do their homework now, although, yes, yeah, you know, none of the kids really have any things they want to do here. Alfred wants to be friendly with Ada, but I, I do want the kids to kind of get their homework done. Does anyone have any extra homework books? Yes, you do. So give one to Harvey, and then let's get all the kids to do homework together. Can we do that? Can we just get all the kids to do homework together? I mean, that would be really nice. Okay, let's get going. I don't know where they're gonna do their homework. And was he talking to his father? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I feel really bad for Harvey though, guys. <laughs> I know the game freezes up from time to time, but I feel like it goes along really well with this story that his mind goes on overdrive and sometimes he doesn't know how to act or how to process things, so he literally just freezes up. Poor Harvey. I feel really bad for him. Okay, he's doing his homework. Um, yeah, Herman's coming down to do his homework as well. So is Elma and Alfred. Okay, all the youngsters, they're coming outside to do their homework. Hopefully they don't freeze. Lillian's joining us as well. Okay, excellent. You know, out of all the kids, Elma and Lillian look the closest to each other. Are they related? They're cousins, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they're cousins. They are cousins. Okay. Uh, how are they related exactly? Because at this point, I honestly can't remember. That's right. Okay, so Lord Roy... Um, wait, what? How are they cousins? Oh, because Lillian- right, right, right. So from the royal side. They're cousins from the royal side. But they literally look like siblings, don't they? They look the most similar, both in hair color and skin tone, out of everyone we have here. I don't even know what color eyes does he have. I mean, because I've just been paying attention to everyone. I'm a little bit confused about that. I've been jumping between uh, a lot of the kids. But okay, I'm gonna leave them to do their homework. Hopefully everyone's onto that. Are you onto it? Okay, he's onto it. Yep, even Alfred is onto it. Excellent, so everyone's working on that. Makes me super duper happy. And guys, someone here had a very exciting development. Um, oh, did I give Alfred the polyamorous trait? Actually, I gotta, I gotta give them to the youngsters as well. I gotta give them to the youngsters. Oh, he already has this. I think Lillian's the one that I didn't give it to. Where'd she go? Lillian! Where did Lillian go? Hold on, let me let me track her down. We need to track down Lillian, and I have to give her this trait as well. Okay, you are over here. Let me go ahead, give you this trait, so I don't have complications in the future. Obviously, the jealous sims aren't going to get this trait. That means whenever we have a jealous sim, we're going to have drama. But for now, we're okay. But like I was saying, Lady Lily had a very, very exciting um, want, guys. Lady Lily here, she actually wants to flirt with Lord Jim. Now, I don't know if this is going to result in anything, and I don't know how many other interactions like this she's had with someone, but that kind of excites me. That does excite me. Because I, as you know, really like Jim. And now that we have Ralph, I actually really like Ralph as well. I think Jim and Ralph are probably my my top sims, based on appearance, like among the males. But Earl has, I think, the best story, definitely. His character, like overall, is the most appealing, but I really like Jim and Ralph's appearance. Okay, is this gonna give us any bit of pink? At all? At all? I actually don't know if she has flirted with anyone, but we were talking about it earlier in, in the video. 
that she hasn't, like, she doesn't have a pink ball with anyone. She hasn't, you know, had any sort of relationship with anyone. Okay, Lily, what's going on? Anything, anything more? Is anything, anything more happening with you two? Maybe? Maybe? She's considering. She's considering. Okay, they flirted, but there was, like, no pink bar. That makes me feel as though she has had similar interactions with other people, but, like, nothing has resulted from it. I mean, hey, that's okay. That's okay. She's taking her time, and it's actually a really good change of pace to have that slight bit of difference. Okay, Alfred. Let's... Oh, she's still doing his homework. Never mind, then. Never mind. Well, Lillian wasn't exactly um, working on anything, so let's get to know uh, Lillian. Unless she's joined everyone else, but I don't think she has because she was wandering all over the place. Okay, she's just choosing to sit next to them and not do anything. Let's get to know you, though. Lily, come outside. I think it's in small talk. We'll get to know how Lillian is going. Maybe, um... Maybe Lily, because she is the, the kennel master, so I feel like she would care about the the werewolf state of the kids and she would be curious about that so I feel like she would want to know how Lily's feeling I mean Lillian is feeling how Lillian is doing but if Lillian's gonna come up like if she's the one walking up here then maybe she's a little bit concerned or she has concerns regarding the fact yeah she's coming on up okay that kind of tells me maybe she has concerns about being in the royal guard, but being a non-wolf, and she's worried that's going to be a conflict of interest. And you know, I think it'd be nice for Lillian, oh no, L yeah, <laughs> the names, I don't know why I picked such confusing names for everyone, but I think it'd be nice for Lily to tell Lillian, no, it's okay, you can be a non-wolf and also set an example for how a member of the royal guard should be. You don't have to turn into a wolf to be able to protect the royal family. You can still, you know, work hard and prove yourself. So that's nice. <gasps> is she about to flirt autonomously with Roy, even though Roy is very angry? Roy's like, no. Roy, that was rude. That was rude, Roy. Makes me kind of sad. Makes me kind of sad. How could you do that, Roy? Yeah, Roy is just really cheesed off. He's like yelling at everyone. You embarrassed Lily. Oh no. He embarrassed Lily in front of everyone. I'm disappointed in you. I'm very disappointed in you. Okay, Alfred was Ada. He wants to go be friendly with Ada. They're outside. Ada's outside. Denounce friendship. Let's not do that. This You're just momentarily angry. Let's, like, talk about the freezing temperature. I think that might be nice. Yeah, okay. He's gonna go chat with Lady Ada. Who he's friends with. So that's kind of nice. I feel like he has good relationships with quite a few people. Which is very befitting of the second prince. On the other hand, the one who is the most alpha material, unfortunately... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't know where you are walking off to, but you should be chatting with Ada. Let's brighten her day, maybe. Let us go brighten her day. Especially because her little one was so adorable in the last chapter. So let's uh, compliment her just a little bit. Let's compliment her. And, okay, the the alpha is not in her everyday wear. I thought she was for a second, and I was going to take a look at that. But we can take a look at her outfit over here um, on this panel, the profile. But she is no longer wearing that vivid red in her adult scheme. She got herself the dress tailored, her royal dress tailored. Uh, well, you know, it's the it's the pack dress, I suppose. But she got her dress tailored in this really pretty blue, like blue on the sleeves, kind of more like steely grayish, and then the gradient down to that beige or like a soft yellow. So darker makeup, softer colors, 
and hair that is, you know, out of her face. Which is definitely, definitely nice. Reminds me of a really pretty, pretty sky. Okay, you're chatting with, with Ada, but I think he has to go. Does he have to go to academy? I think he does. Okay, well, we're going to send you to school. Let's send you to school. I feel like Ada would be pretty happy with herself because she arranged that match. And, um, you know, Lord, Lord um, Earl won the match, but then both the males she had were, like, really good males. And I feel like that's actually... You know, I feel like Ada has actually come very far, guys, from where she started off. Because when she started off, she was very insecure, very unsure of herself. Remember, her family forced her to come here. She didn't even want to. Um, she didn't even know what to do with the matches. And she was relying on, like, the previous matches that were made. Um, but now, you know, she started figuring her own things out. She isn't being forced by her family or other people to include certain people. She's just choosing the males she wants to choose and she's making the best matches that she possibly can. And that makes me really happy for her because I feel like she's, you know, despite the heartbreak, despite the challenges, she's managed to find her own place in the pack and now she's become really confident in her role as the matchmaker as well. So, good on you, Ada. Good on you. I feel like a lot of people are going to be happy with the match we had as well, considering L1. <laughs> but okay, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.